to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to be talking about Tinkerbell. I'm going to start be diving more into more Disney animated features. I feel like this one's a little hidden one. I first watched this movie on Netflix. They have a couple of the Tinkerbell series movies, but not all of them. Um, the first one did come out in 2008. It's a computer animated style movie and it brings you on a journey to explore Tinkerbell and how she became who she is. This movie is basically about Tinkerbell and how she gets her name and everything. Uh, she There's selected categories for each of the fairies when they are born and she becomes a tinker. And they basically build things and help fix things and she's very unhappy with her job she is given as there's all the other fairies of light and flowers and all this other stuff, water, and she just feels like she's so unimportant compared to the rest of them. She ends up using her tinker strategies to try to go along and see if she could fit in another fairy category, and everything keeps failing. All the other fairies are taking her along, trying to teach her, her their tasks so that she could try to fit in with them, but she is just not made to be any type of fairy besides a tinker. The so Tinkerbells is basically about the story of her finding herself and really recognizing that her skills are just as important as the other fairies. And it's a very simple plot and story. I thought it was really cute. Uh, the cute, you know, the computer animated graphics are okay. They're not gonna live up to the other Disney animated features you have seen in the theaters. But I really liked and enjoyed the story of Tinkerbell. Why would we never even think about doing a movie about her? She's everywhere. She is like a key sign to Disney. And I mean, she goes across the castle and the opening. So it's very, 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 she's very important. I don't have to say there are key actors in this movie. There's Mae Whitman, Kristen Chenoweth, Raven Simone, America Fiera. So like they didn't skip out on the acting which I feel like you could tell their distinct voices for each of the fairy characters they play and I, that stands out a little bit. Otherwise, this is just a cute, cute movie. It's nothing fantastic. I would give this movie probably, I'd give it a six out of 10. I feel like that's, you know, that's a little above average, It's but it's pretty just, you know, your standard story of how a character kind of finds their way and finds themselves. And I think it's really cute. And the continuation of the Tinkerbell series I feel like it gets a little better because you explore more of her side and how she likes to help other people and um, there's also pirates, there's other beasts involved. It's a really cool land and I really liked how they got to expand on everything. There's like a huge tree and like each place is a spring and they go through winter, fall, all the seasons. It's really, really well thought out and they really expand your imagination on what this fairy universe looks like. So it's really cool. I would say go watch it. Um, I don't know if it's the originals on Netflix, but I would say go rent it. Um, it's a great kids movie and it's very short and it's just very, it's magical and it's whimsical. It's all those things and yeah, go watch Tinkerbell. Let me know in the comments if you all have seen any of the Tinkerbell series. Um, let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, do you enjoy them? Do you think they're necessary? And uh, how do they rank among other Disney films? All right. Thanks for watching and bye.